Hi Libra, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading for the sign of Libra for the month of August 2021. I am sorry this video is late, but I came home from uh, visiting my grandchildren in Illinois with a cold and I just have gotten to the point where I feel well enough to talk for an extended period of time without coughing my head off. So anyway, I wanted to get this video out before this weekend because the first weekend here in August <clears throat> is going to be very powerful astrologically. The last two weeks, we've actually had a lot of internal tension going on. Uh, we have, have been in the middle of a uh, T-square, which right now uh, Saturn, the planet of manifestation and crystallization, is opposing the sun. And that's kind of like a tennis match. Now Saturn is very stoic and very structured. Leo, the sun, on the other hand, is bombastic and enthusiastic and spontaneous. So there's there's been a lot of push and pull internally for people. Should they do something? Should they not do something? And then in the last two weeks, both of those planets have actually been squaring or at a 45 degree angle um, from each of them creating a T-square with Uranus. And Uranus is the planet of quick, brilliant change. So there's been probably a lot of internal restlessness going on, uh, wanting to move forward, not quite clear on where you wanna go, but feeling restless and knowing something's gotta give and something's gonna change. Well, this weekend is a great opportunity for that change to start to happen. There is a new moon in Leo, which is gonna be right there involved in the T-square. Also, it's called the Lion's Gate, which happens once a year. It's the Lion's Gate portal. The a star Sirius is gonna be the closest to the sun and uh, very bright in the night sky. And it happens once a year with this transit. And it's a great time for transformation and new beginning. And next week and the next two or two, three weeks in August, um, there's gonna be a lot of support, um, positive support for our moving forward in a new direction. So the first card that I pulled for you, Libra, is the Three of Wands. Wands represent a uh, spiritual soaring. Uh, wands are an action, a fire card. Three is a, a trinity number. This is a new beginning. Either this person is waiting to get on that boat or just got off the boat and it's a new beginning. And so that tells me where you are right now. You're in a place where you're going to move forward into something new in your life. So the surprise or challenge card is also a wand card and it's the page of wands. Pages are messengers. So be watching for messages, be watching for information that comes your way that's going to help you, that's going to boost you in this new shift you're going towards. And the truth is, as you're moving forward, understand that the universe or God, however you like to view it, um, whoever your God is, is moving towards you in a, in your desires, with your desires. You know, I believe that we, we say what we want and we're over here and God or the universe is over here and we make one step towards it and then God or the universe makes one step towards us with our desired end. The wands flying in the air means everything is in motion. It's coming to you. You just maybe haven't seen it in the 3D. And the outcome card is a fabulous outcome card, one of the best ones there is, which is the 10 of pentacles. Pentacles are about financial well-being. So wherever you're heading, whatever your new direction, it is going to be financially fruitful for you. You will um, reap some very good financial rewards, but the 10 of pentacles is also about paying it forward. So remember, as you get you know, you give, you know, that you hear talk about tithing. It isn't only in church. It's in communicating with people and it's in dealing with people and in being compassionate, which you normally have no problem with, Libra. So anyway, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful, wonderful month. If any of you have any questions about your personal astrology, feel free to, free to leave me a message on email and I will get back to you as quickly as I can and have a wonderful month.